Keenan Johnson with today's knockout with legendary trainer Joel Diaz. Joel, talk about your, your latest people, Mr. Diego De La Hoya, and what he's bringing to the table as he rises up the ranks. Well, Diego is uh, he's a kid that's coming up in the ranks because of his uh, his activity. You know, he's been active, he's been he's been fighting constantly, and he's been progressing. Uh, as you can see, every time he fights, you can see a big improvement in him. So we can see that uh, his promoter is trying to bring him up to to a world championship with the next year or so. So activity means everything, and that's what he needs, and that's what he's getting. So tomorrow night, uh, you're gonna see a Diego, a Diego de la Hoya, just as you saw in the last fight. Well prepared, uh, well focused, and ready to win. Can you tell people just hadn't seen him fight that he's legitimately good? It's not because of his last name that he's getting his opportunities. You know, uh, a lot of people think that just because he has a last name, he's getting these opportunities, but that's not the point here. Uh, even before he started as a professional fighter, he always said it. I don't want to follow my cousin's uh, legacy. I want to have my own legacy. That's why in his, profession, in his first professional debut, he fought uh, a kid from Puerto Rico with 11 fights. You know, beating him at debut, he fought a guy that was 8 and 3. So that means, you know, it wasn't easy for him. And as moving up, you saw his last fight against Jesus Reese. Jesus Reese was like 30 and 3 or 30 uh, around there. And this kid was young, he was strong. I mean, he fought Leo Santa Cruz. So nothing's coming easy for Diego. Diego is a fighter that has the ability, has the skill. And uh, I know a lot of people think that just because of the last name, he's getting those uh, easy access. But you guys will see uh, Diego De La Hoya pretty soon fighting top opposition, and he will prove everybody wrong eventually. Well, who's somebody he reminds you of that's an established fighter right, in today's boxing world? You know what? Uh, he's very unique. He's very unique because he can brawl whenever he wants. He has a great boxing ability. He can box. But the only thing that really makes it difficult for me is he has a lot of anger. You know, he he brings he brings a spark in him as soon as he gets hit with that one punch. And that's a problem with a fighter like him. That he gets into problems because 